Hey Davis and gents, I'm coming to you with a few things I've been working on in between my granddaughter's naps. Uh, I only have one more week left with her. So I've been trying to just devote every minute with her and in between when she naps, I got a craft. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna show a tutorial on an adjustable bracelet that I've made for um, Tara, who is Nurse Tara here on YouTube. Hey girl, and um, I've made these before. So um, let me go ahead and just, I'm gonna show you the crate it, and then I'm gonna show you the bracelets that I'm talking about, and then I'm gonna do a quick little tutorial. So please have mercy on me. I will never give myself props on tutorials because I am not the best one, but I'm gonna do my best, okay? <laughs> so anywho, um, I went ahead and I made a couple more angels. These are so fun to make. I use these pretty little glass crackle bead bottoms that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. It was in their little clearance section and then I had those little wings and then I just had some pretty little iridescent pink beads that I used for the head and then rondelles for the crowns and then just of course a lobster claw. I like to keep these on stash for when I rack or to put on things and I also put them on my work badge. I, I um, have a little angel. I love it. Anywho, then I was on Pinterest and um, I was on Heidi's, um, you know, you see everybody's um, pins. So I stole one from Heidi. <laughs> if you're watching Heidi, thank you. So they had these cute little dangles using buttons. So I have these buttons that are shells that I got from Joann's and what they did is they just stack them. And I love it because they're all uneven, they're not the exact size, and they hang, you know, just like dangles, but they're just buttons there. So you can, I'm going to try them out with all my other buttons. I have a plethora of them because I love, love buttons. So oh, these are the dangles that I hung from them, these um, little resin pieces from Michaels. Then I just created this little dangle, and then I put this cute little heart um, charm on there. Now these right here, because they have two holes, so they don't show you a tutorial on Pinterest, so I had to pretty much assume this is how it was done. Or maybe they had buttons that only had one hole, which I don't know how that's possible, but anyways. So what I did is I used, oh I don't have any with me, but I used, oh man, I used two of these long um, head pins right here. Okay, then I stuck the, each of them through all of the stack. Okay, so that right here is what sticks out of here on both sides. Then I take a jump ring, then I took a jump ring, and I put it to where it connected the two. Then I put another jump ring on top of that, and then that's what I hung the lobster claw clasp. Then on the other end, I had to make these loops right here. So it's like this when it comes out. Then I take my needle nose pliers, which are these right here. And then how I do the ends is I grab the very end of the pin and I keep it sque squeezed like this. And I always put my thumb on this side right here. And I'm literally just turning it like this into the pin. Then I never take it out. I just release, keep that inside the circle and then I hold it back and then I turn. See, I'm turning it this way towards me. And then it looks like this. Okay. And then all I do from here, this is just a little tester. And then I get these right here, which are just the flat heads. And I squeeze. To where it looks like this. Okay, so I'll show you one more time. At the end, you grab your needle nose like this and you do it to where it's flat. Put your thumb right here and then you're turning it all the way like this. This hand is doing the turning all the way towards back to your thumb okay and then you just release don't take it out and you're gonna release it all the way going backwards and then you're gonna squeeze it again and you're gonna push towards yourself like this 
and then it does it like this. Okay, then all you do is you grab your flat ones like this. These are flat, they don't have the ridges on the edge. Okay, so I'm straightening it out because it wasn't straight. And then I just grab it. Oops. It's moving. And then I squeeze it so that they meet. Like that. Okay? It's kind of hard to show, but that's the general idea for those of you that may not be, you know, jewelry makers or dangle makers. So that's what I did. And that's it. And then I did the same thing here. I added two jump rings here. I added two here. So I put the lobster claw key on that. And then on here, all I did was add the charms and the dangles. So I did one in that color. And these are all, like I said, they're all the same type of shell. It's almost like a mother of pearl type shell. And then I just hung different dangles off of it. Okay, and then I did another one. This one's in a cream color. Just hung a few of them off there. And then I did one in gold. So I used all my gold yummies. Love it. Gotta have gold too. And then I did this really pretty one and um, baby blues. No, it's just a little charm, a little heart charm I have hanging from the back side. This is a pretty little heart, this little bead right here I purchased from, um, I believe it was Michael's or Joanne's, I don't remember. And that's it. It's the exact same. It's super easy. A cute little idea. I love, you know, the shifting of the buttons. I thought it was really adorable to make those little button dangles. So I made those five dangles and then the two angels. Now let's get into the tutorial. Now these right here are the adjustable bracelets. Okay. No idea of my own by any means. And so they just have this. This right here is just your typical memory wire that's like this, the thin kind that you can buy at any one of the craft stores. And well, I've not seen them at Joann's, but um, Hobby Lobby for sure and Michael's. So this is the thin one. So this is how they look thin. So I just use seed beads and then you just hang dangles. This is totally up to you how many dangles you wanna use, but they, are, they hang in between the adjustable part. So see. So just so you can get a few ideas. For those of you who may not have seen it, these are just a different side. Oops, it's this side. Let me see what side my dangles are on. Oh, here we go. So these were the dangles that I hung on this one. That's kind of a coral color. This right here is a thicker wire. This right here is a very thick wire, but I purchased it on Etsy. So this one you cannot just find anywhere. And then this one right here on this side is the thin wire in gold. So it's the very thin. And um, I just added chain and a ton of little dangles, little um, angel right there. And then just some more just angles. I just was messing around with it and I love it. So these are perfect if you're going to add like three different ones. I mix these with my Alex and Ani bracelets too. I love wearing a bunch of bracelets at once. Okay. This right here is just a few dangles. This is a cream colored sea bead. And then these right here. I purchased these off of Etsy. And then I just have these little dangles. Same. This is the thick wire, so you see it's a little tougher. But this right here is really thick and it's heavy duty, so I love it. And if you don't want, this is just another idea with a thick wire. This is not adjustable like that in that sense, but I did it so it, it was like a ton of um, dangles. This was a design team project for um, Nat's store, and she does have still some of these charms in her store. 
not all of them, but I did look at her store and I saw some of them in there and see, and I just did the part and I did hung a little charm off of it. So off of the thick one, you could do this. You cannot do it off of this thin one. It's just way too thin. Okay, so I'm going to do my best to try to find the store that I purchased this from. Just to let you know, you do got to put your back into it on these. It's it, it, Like I said, it's a tough wire and you got to use really good wire cutters that you are, are designate to wire. Um, I, these are the ones I use. And or you can go to the you know Home Depot, Lowe's, or whatever, and use those kind of wire cutters because it's seriously it's a tough one. So these are the three tools I'm using. These are the wire cutters. These are just flatheads and the needle nose, which are round on both ends. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I cut the coil. So when you get it like this, what you want to do is you have your end piece right here. And you want to give, I go all the way to the half size. So you see I have right where my thumb is to the left. Then I'm going to take the coil back here and I'm going to cut almost halfway there. Okay, so I'll show you as soon as I cut it. Okay, so see how they lap and see how there's space in between here because you got to consider the fact this is going to be rolled up and bent. This is going to be rolled up and bent. So you're going to have about this much space up here. So you have to take that in consideration for um, the actual bending part of it. This part right here. So for instance, let's go ahead. It's easy to show on this one because I don't have to. Okay. So you take the end. Oops. Try to get a grip. Okay, so I'm gonna take the end like I showed you previously and I'm going to turn it opposite of me all the way back, keep my um, pliers inside, and then go back. Okay, so see right here, it's not all the way closed. Oops, I'm knocking the dangles off. So now I'm going to go back the other way, and then I'm just going to mess with it until I get it the way I want it. And then I'm going to take my flat nose and I'm going to close it. Okay. So it's closed like that. Only close the one side. Don't close both sides yet because you still need to string all your beads through there. So that's what I did on this one. So see, I, I did the one side here, but then I'm still stringing. So it's not done on this side yet because I'm still putting the beads on. This is the heavier wire. So I already strung all the beads that I want to use on here. And these are all gold beads. So these are like um, crystal beads. And then I have little gold spacers. And this is a bronze memory wire. That's the thick one from Etsy. Then I went ahead and already did the dangles that I'm going to hang from there. Okay, these one I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm gonna do one, and this is the head pin I'm using. These ones I got from Butterbee Scraps. And then I'm just gonna put it through, where is it, here we go. So that it hangs like that. And this right here is all guesstimate, ladies. There is no science to it. I just know how much I need to um, turn I always keep these pieces right here because I use these as links. So what I'll do is I'll curl this in and, th and I'll put beads and then I'll curl this in and then I add them as links in, um, into my necklaces. So I never throw these away. You could though, if you're not into all that, you could just chuck it. Okay. So then I'm going to get my little round nose. I'm going to do what I showed you or had told you previously. And I'm going to turn it all the way one way. Keep my, don't take them out and then turn you turn it against you going first and then um, towards you um, to get, it's kind of almost like a question mark is what it's going to be, look like. And then I'm going to take my flat nose and then I'm just going to go ahead and close it off. And I apologize for the lighting. It's raining here in California and um, so it's extra cloudy. So I have to use my Ot lamp, which I love it, but nothing tops natural lighting. So now these are the ones I want to hang from my, what you call it. These get hung on last. Okay. 
So now that I have everything strung on here, okay, I'm gonna stick this through this hole, okay? So you see how that happens? And then, actually, let me show you back here, I'm sorry. When you create the first loop, right here, you're gonna take these flat ones and you're gonna grab just the part that's the circle and you're gonna clasp it and then you're gonna bend it towards this wire, like this, okay? You see how it's going this way? You don't wanna do it that way. Well, I guess you could just make sure you turn, you put the wire this way because this wire has to go through the hole, okay? So it has to go through like that. And then this part right here, once you have all the beads on, you're gonna take these again and then you're gonna make another one. Hold on tight, roll it against away from you, against away from you, Jeez, Louise. Keep the pliers in, then you're gonna bend it towards you, okay? Then it should give you like a question mark looking, and then you're gonna close it with a flat nose. Now, when you, okay, gotta make sure it's closed tight. Okay. Then you're gonna take this, you're gonna only cover the circle part and you're gonna bend it towards, see my thumb is always holding the wire and I'm gonna bend it towards this side, okay? So it looks like this. See, this one comes towards the wire, this one goes towards this wire, okay? Then you have to open this up just a little because now you have to stick it on this one. So, okay, so I put it in that way. Oops. Did I get it out of the way? I have to look offside the camera in order for me to um, make sure I'm doing it right. Okay, so you see, this is what creates the adjustable part. So you see, you have one wire that's going this way, and then this one is going the opposite way. But this is how it opens and closes. See how it's just, this wire is really super flimsy. I mean, the, honestly, the, um, the Alex and Ani ones are super thick, but they do make other bracelets and they're using this flimsy, flimsy wire. So it's just so much easier if you want to go ahead and start and you're unable to get the thick one or you don't want to even mess with it. You can still use these. I mean, it's not like I didn't. I used the thin one on here. And it's not like they, um, <clears throat> it doesn't make them any less cute. Oops. They fit just fine. They he they're heavier, so they are going to hang on this, on um, the bottom part of your wrist but um, they're absolutely adorable. So this one right here, you see I have the wire. This one is bent towards me. This one I'm gonna fold and bend towards the wire. You always wanna bend it towards the actual wire, never away from you. So I do have to take this off because this one requires me to, um, it's stronger, so I have to like bend it against me in order to, make it work and I tell you you really do gotta <laughs> see so here's the part I did it this way then I'm gonna take the flat ones and I need to bend it towards here so I just grab the circle part that's flat and then I'm gonna bend it towards the wire because you gotta remember it has to latch to the wire to create the adjustable part let me do it against me because it's Kind of strong. And it's really not hard. Once you get it, it's really super easy. It took me a few attempts, I'm not gonna lie, um, to get the science of it. And now I'm gonna open up the loop, like I had mentioned previously. And then I'm gonna clasp it on. 
Good gracious. Sorry for the awkward silence. Come on. There we go. Okay. I'm going to show you right now. Oops. So for you jewelry ladies, this will this will be nothing. This is like super easy. For those of you that may not be, this is probably not a, a it's not so much of a beginner. It'll probably test your patience. But um see this is just really thick, see. But this right here, I'm gonna tell you now, is it's rock solid. I'll tell you that. So I love it. So this right here has movement of the beads so you fill this as much as you want some people don't you know want to put beads you don't have to i like it better with the beads and then you have this right here is where you you can hang your dangles on either side of these um what you call it so let me go ahead and hang them on really quick i only have like four minutes so i want you to be able to see um how it looks assembled oh great See if I can see I told you guys I don't you know I don't know how to you know bust out tutorials really well and um, I definitely don't have you know the speed it up option and plus with something like this there's not really much that I could do as far as speeding it up because you kind of have to see how I am doing it and um, which requires slow motion Okay, so I started, oh, did I start with that one? Okay. I'm trying to do like a pattern of three of one and two of another. So let me go ahead and, that's why I pre-did the, um, oh my goodness. Um, I pre-did the charms so that, um, you could also add split rings on, or not split, jump rings on there, but I just, I don't see a reason in doing it, um, really. And all I'm doing is opening them up, because what happens is, is the dangles will hang even farther down, and I don't want them to hang too far down. So when you put jump rings on, um, on top of these, in between, I mean, it's going to be, um, the dangles are going to hang too long but if you're if you're if that's your flow then yeah absolutely i just hang it directly on i'm all good with that okay so this is how it looks these are how i hung them so you could add a couple things just a couple charms you don't have to go crazy i just i'd love a lot i'm over the top okay so see goes towards this wire then this side goes towards the wire closer to me really super easy and um, these are really good as far as fitting to um, the wrist so see super pretty I love it these are really fun to make these make great great gifts and I cannot believe how much they sell these type of things for um, when you can make them yourself so see, that's so stinking pretty. And then you just add a bunch of them, you know? I mean, why not, right? I mean, they just look so fun and just really super pretty when you want to hang multiples. So I hope that helps some of you out and I really hope you have some patience with me. Um, but I do know that I did get requests a long time ago and then plus uh, Nurse Tara requested it too. So I hope that helps. And if you make any, please, I would love to see what you make. That would be so stinking awesome. Like I said, this is not my idea. I totally got it from somebody else and that's it. But I got 30 seconds, I gotta go. Thank you guys so much. I miss you so much. And as soon as my granddaughter goes home, I will be posting a a ton more videos. I'm working on my guest design team one now and I'm almost done. So um, I will see you guys later. I hope you have an amazing and blessed weekend. Bye.